Yo, thanks for tuning in to another episode of An Honest Minute with your boy, Greg Old School Lights Green Lewis. And on this episode of An Honest Minute, I want to talk about the difference between a single, an EP, and an album. Seems that a lot of people get it a little mixed up. Some understand, some don't. But I say it like this. We all know that a single is just one song. There's just one recorded song that you released, whether it's just for... Um, in, this, in these days and days, just a download or a CD single or, you know what I'm saying, or even if it's a 12-inch, because we still, we still pressing 12-inches right now. So, you know what I'm saying, my real purists know that that 12-inch still popping. Then you got the EP. The EP, those, those letters are, it stands for Extended Play. And that, that thing was devised because that's when you have a, a project that's the, a little longer than a single, which means it has to be more than three songs because a, a single can go up to, uh, to two to three songs can still be a single. So uh, more than three songs, but less than nine because it takes nine songs to be an album. So that's your EP, Extended Play. It's just in, you know, some, extra, some extra songs. It's a little longer. And then you have the album, which as I just said, is at least nine songs or more. And um, anything past those... Anything past those nine songs is just extra. It's just something for, for, your, for your supporters, for your audience. Anything past nine songs. So, you know what I'm saying? That's an album. And, you know, we have new terms now that uh, this whole Internet thing is popping crazy like it is. We have terms like um, free P, which I thought was pretty cool. Free P was just a way to say free EP, you know. And, um, you know, that's just an online term. And... Uh, they spell it F R small E capital E small P, so you can see free and E P in there at the same time. Then a term that I came up with myself when I was pushing the artist of mine named Rashi Hadi, I came up with a term called pre P because he put out like an E P which was like the pre album before his real release, so it was a pre P, and I thought that was pretty slick. Capital P R E small E um, capital uh, E P. Pre P, pre a pre E P before the album. So, you know, for those who get that mixed up and they wonder what is this whole single E P album thing, that's what that is. So now that you got a better understanding of it, now when you do it, stop calling your your singles the E P. Stop doing two songs, three songs, and calling it the E P. You know what I'm saying? Stop doing an album and calling it the E P. It's not three songs. One to three songs is a single. Over three songs is a EP. Nine songs or better is an album. All right. So that's my tidbit for the day. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of An Honest Minute with your boy Greg Old School Lights Green Lewis. And as always, I'm out. <laughs>